Okay, so we'll go over single phase half wave control rectifier and single phase full wave control rectifier. And when we say control, means we are using thyristor instead of Guide. Guide. power diode. Okay, so this is the half wave, and this is the source. This is the thyristor, and this is the loop. And um, we want to control the circuit. Before, in um, in half wave on control, we have the source and we have the half wave one piece. And we have the V diode right here in the negative end. That's it. Now, no, we will have we will have alpha. Alpha means uh, firing angle. When to start? Okay. So this is my V source, which is V max sine omega t. You know what's V max here all the time. When you see a value before the sine, it means that's V max. You don't have to do a calculation for the V max. That's the value. And the I source that comes from the source. If, if it goes through the thyristor, then it will be the same current, which is in the thyristor and in the I output. And this is I source, same as I thyristor, same as I output. If this is not open, if this is um, like, um, in the, for example, if the negative try to go in, it cannot. So it works as, a, as open circuit. So there is no I source, there is no I thyristor, there is no I output. Okay? That's why we use the DC emitter right here because it's only only have one polarity. This is the V source sinusoidal wave. L we we decide to have uh, alpha st uh, starts at 45. You can choose anything 45, 60, 90. 45 means if I draw this one right here, this is my half wave and this is my current. Okay, so at 45, this is my 90 degrees here and this is my 45 so here okay then I, I need to erase so I'll erase the thing all everything before it's zero because it will start at after 45 okay you will see your wave after 45 okay and the same thing with the current guys so this is V out DC and this is I out DC when it comes to the V thyristor as I told you right here, this is the voltage across the thyristor right here, and this is the voltage across the load. We call it V out DC across the load, and V thyristor across the thyristor. V thyristor, if you combine it with this wave, with this pulse, you will get the source. So here, as I told you, that's what we see before in the V diode. Now, to draw the whole pulse, you have current from here to here, right? So when, when you, all the time, when you have current, it's zero, right? Yeah. Because the potential difference is zero. So this is zero, all zero. This is what you have now. So this is my beta ester. If, if the alpha is 90, for example, so alpha is 90, then I will come here and I will see this now. And this is zero, this piece. If the alpha is 120, which is in your case, it will be here. So this is what you will see here. So you will see all this and this is zero. Okay? If it's 90. But in our case, it's 45, so we'll leave it like this. Let's come to single phase full wave. This is the source, as I told you here. This is the positive. It will come here. This is diode number one to the load. This is diode number two. And then it goes back to the source then this is the negative here it comes to this so this is number three and then to the load from the same side and then it comes here this is diode number four and it goes back to the source this is the bridge but now we're not using power diodes we are using thyristors so this is the source okay what i will have everything in the positive right yeah same polarity and let's choose, for example, same thing, alpha equals 45 degrees, okay? So 45 degrees, this is 90 degrees here, and this is 45, okay? And same thing here, this is 90 degrees, because it will be in the positive, and this is 45. So you come and draw the pulse here, okay? And the pulse here, and then 45. 45, so this is zero, this is zero, this is zero. You need to draw the pulse before, guys, and this is zero. This is your output, 
current will be the same. Okay, then the current will be the same, guys. This is I out, P out GC and I out GC. Of course, we are. this is without the inductor, huh? If we have inductor, we have a different case. V out, V, uh, v thyristor, same thing here. It's not V diode no more. It's V thyristor, guys. So V thyristor across this. This is V thyristor here. If we look at V thyristor, we have to look at this and this. Okay, this one and this one here, V thyristor, because they have the same amount of current. If we look at V thyristor for three and four, we have to look at this and this. So you have to look at two. Okay, so if you look at this one here, is thyristor one and thyristor two. And this is thyristor three and four. Okay, so if you look for V thyristor, you need to tell me which one. Let's say one, two. One, two means that this one here is zero. This is zero, right? And you will have that left. And here, nothing. So you will see that, right? You will see it in the negative, guys. As actually it's in the negative. Okay? And then this is zero. I, this will be explained more in theory because we will go deep. But I want to explain one, one, one point, which is very important. If I have inductor, in case I have inductor okay add it so i will have resistor and inductor huh? and we have two cases case one uh continuous current case two discontinuous current okay so we will have it we will have what we will have uh, two cases if we have inductor. So if we connect inductor here, we will have two cases. First, we're going to have a ripple, right? Mm -hmm. in, in, in half wave, in, in full wave, single phase, uncontrolled. Do we have ripple? Yes. No, we don't have ripple. Full wave, no. In full wave, no. we don't have ripple. Why we don't have ripple? No, because the, uh, the, uh, there is no time for the inductive to release. There is no time to discharge. So, because the next one will start immediately. Okay. This one here it ends, right? The next one will start at zero. No time to release. But now we have time. Now there is, this one will, this, this, the second pulse will start after 45. So there is time for the inductive to release, to discharge. So it will discharge like this. This one will discharge like this. This one will discharge. So if I have inductive, I will have ripple. So in this case, what will happen to the current? The current now, it will follow, yes. It will follow the voltage. The current will go like this. Okay? The current will go like this. This is in the case of continuous. So what's the, what's the, what's the case, case, continuous case? Continuous case, case one, if alpha is small, and inductor is big enough. In this case, I will have case one, which is continuous. Which is continuous, okay? Case one, continuous current. Case one. So here, this alpha is small, and the inductive is big, means it can reach the second, the second alpha, this alpha right here. So the current will be, will be continuous. Second case will be case two. If alpha is big and inductor is small enough. So if I put the, 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 the alpha here, for example, okay, alpha here, what will happen now? And uh, this one is small. So what will happen to the current? It will not start, see here, see what will happen now. Alpha is here now, alpha 90, yeah? Alpha 90. But the inductive is small, so the inductive goes here and it's done. So now the alpha is 90. 
So it will be zero from here to here, and then it will stop. This is this is 90 also. So that it will be zero here, okay? So what will be the current now? The current will be from here to here, and then zero. And then from here to here, and then zero. This is called discontinuous. Discontinuous, okay? Is that okay, guys? I don't want to spend a lot of time here. Follow me, guys, come, come with me. I want to explain this right here for you. I want you to see the continuous and discontinuous. Leave it on, leave it on. Okay. Guys, I want you to see here. This is, uh, make sure you see, you guys have to see this. Okay. I want you guys to see this one right here. Be close to the um, oscilloscope. I'm going to play with the alpha, guys. See here, now it's, now it's zero, so it's continuous, the current. Still continuous, now it's 11, 14, still continuous, 32. This is, by the way, guys, this connection is full wave uncontrolled, huh? Mm -hmm. This is full wave uncontrolled. And then, it's still continuous, it's 45 now, it's still continuous. 50, still continuous. 55, now it starts being discontinuous, right? See here? Now it's discontinuous. Okay. See here, now the alpha is big, but the inductive is the same. It, it's the same, it can be, it can be, this, since it's the same, it can be to the old case, big enough. But to this case, small enough, okay? So can you guys see that? That's discontinuous now. If you wanna see it, see it and make a distance. See it right there? And I can make it also again continuous. That's continuous, guys. If you wanna see it, make sure you see it. It's continuous now. I wanna make it discontinuous, this is discontinuous. See here? So we have two cases. So here, I'm gonna, this, is the, this is the circuit. I, I, I know you're familiar guys with the connection. Same here. The only, the only things that you know, dif differentiate this circuit from the full wave single phase uncontrolled, that we use the thyristor firing unit, okay? That thyristor firing, uh, fi thyristor firing, firing unit. And, all, and we, instead of the power diode, we use the, the fast. Okay, this is the connection here, same. The bridge, okay. And so we come from the source. This is the source here. We come to the, between the tires, between the, we're gonna use one, two, three, four. And then we go out to the isolator, from the isolator to the load, which is both inductive and uh, resistive. And then here, this is the resistive. We close the, um, the bridge, and then we go back here to the neutral. And here we have to synchronize. So top, yeah, we have to synchronize the thyristor firing unit with the source, top to the top, and uh, bottom to the bottom. Those, uh, my advice to have them both up, okay? Uh, which is the, um, uh, the complements. And uh, this button right here, have it in for single phase, out for three phase, and make sure you have to, this wire right here, the input of the firing angle to the output. This wire right here, it has nine holes, and there is nine pins in this device, and nine pins in, uh, in the thyristor to control those nine holes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is the, between the firing unit and the thyristor, the power thyristor, and that's the circuit. Um, okay, so that's the full wave, guys. I want to go back to the half wave. I want to go back to the half wave, so I will turn off. Okay, then uh, I can leave this, no problem. I can leave the inductive, so I'll just take this out. Okay, I'll remove this, and I'll just put this one right here back into neutral. Okay, now this is full wave. And another thing is, guys, um, if you use full wave, the DC emitter has to be after the thyristor. That's what we have here. The isolator has to be after the thyristor. If we use what? Full wave. Because if we use full wave, now we open two paths. Two paths, positive and negative. Okay? But if we use half wave, no problem to have it before. Let's see now. 
Let's see, I don't think that we have no problem. That should be single face should be inside. Okay, that's half wave now. Okay, that's with 45 degrees. This is the one you're gonna do. That's 45 degrees with the, with, the, with the ripple. We can get rid of the ripple, guys. By what? Freewheeling. By freewheeling. So we can add a freewheeling right here. We can add a freewheeling right here and uh, same as what we have done before. And the ripple will be gone. And um, that's the circuit. This is the half wave. We can, we can go uh, fast on the half wave from the source to the um, thyristor, only one thyristor, to the isolator, from the isolator to the, to the load. Load is connected in series. And then we just go back to the neutron right here. And it has to be the voltmeter, it has to be across all. See here? Across all. Don't touch this one. Same thing, okay? With the, uh, with the voltage here, should be across all. And so on. That's the circuit. Easy to circuit, so you can do both. But when you do the full wave, make sure you concentrate on the how to play with the discontinuous and continuous. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you.